Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Python's Realm. Uh, Llewellyn, you gonna tell me what the hell you think you're doing? Look at this guy! Yo, this guy's having a full-on head-bashing party, dude! Yo, there's partying harder than there's that. Jeez, Llewellyn. I almost want to try and kill him because I feel like I'll get his uh, hat and I feel like it will go really well with my uh, with my winter cape that I bought from him. Because, uh, yeah, it's blue. The cape is blue. I think... <laughs> It's funny, man. It's funny for some reason. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for the support you showed in the previous episode. It is super, super appreciated, my friends. And uh, yeah, in today's episode, we are going to be making ourselves a surface mushroom biome. The time has come, my friends. And well, the first thing we need to do is create a little house in the underground mushroom biome so we can move the dryad down there and then hopefully buy ourselves a bunch of mushroom seeds. So before doing any of that, though, my friends, what I would really like to do is I would like to grab the living wood wand, the leaf wand, and I'd like to repair this tree just a wee bit because it's looking a bit cruddy, is it not? So uh, yeah, let's just head up here real quick with our living wood wand and let's make this tree look more like a tree again. Make Python's tree great again and, and stuff. I don't know, man. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. Pretty simple fix for the most part. So let's just get it done real quick. And uh, maybe a little bit there. And yeah, that should that should pretty much do it. Apparently my seedling dude is like trapped and such. Wait, what's his actual name? Pumpkin seed? Oh, he's called a squashling? That's a cool name, man. Squashling? <laughs> I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. So, the purpose of me going ahead and uh, making a surface mushroom vine, of course, is... In an attempt to try and get ourselves a whole bunch of uh, of shroomite bars. The shroomite bars will, of course, be used to make armor. And said armor should hopefully take us through Plantera. Because for those of you guys who don't remember, I tried to take down Plantera. And it did not go well. The traveling merchant has disappeared. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I want to get back up there, son. Hold on. Oh, hey, what are you doing? Here, man? Get out of here, you freaking... Get... Enchanted sword! You ain't smart. Get out of here. There you go. Get wrecked, son. All right, so it looks like there's already a pre-made house in the mushroom biome. And that's fantastic because we can simply adapt it. I mean, there's no reason not to, right? Uh, 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 oh, I'm going to get killed. Do these guys not, not take knockback? I feel like this wasn't the best weapon for the job, I'll be honest with you guys. But, oh well. All right, there we go. I'm going to go and take these torches off real quick. And we go. And I might consider doing some other things. If I just go ahead... Make them back into that. Maybe we can make some platforms real quick. There we go. And then maybe we could randomly put something up there. I don't really know what yet. So that's that's great and all. Maybe a mushroom chest. <laughs> that makes sense. But anyways, uh, can I go and do this? Hey, get out of here, Tavern Keep. This is not your place, dude. Silly guy. Oh, what the hell he thinks he's doing? But it's not going to work for you, is it, Sonny? All right, so if I just head down real quick. It is nighttime, so what that means is the dryad should spawn in. And I can see you on the map, actually. So we have been successful in our task of getting the dryad down here. Oh, fantastic. So now I should be able to buy some mushroom seeds. Fantastic. There they are. Hey, check it out, my friends. Got a heck ton of them, man. And now Mo the Tavern Keep is having the time of his life. I don't even know what's going on with these guys, man. I mean, just check this guy out. You can't even see his face. He kind of looks like a cyclops, dude, when he's doing that. I'm pretty sure Mo is secretly a cyclops. That's a thing. That is a thing. Obviously, uh, Mo the Tavern Keep is obviously a Simpsons reference. Mo is a character in The Simpsons and runs a tavern. So, makes sense. Sweet. All right. Well, uh, let me just go ahead and uh, do the old quick stack action real quick. And turns out we have ourselves some mushroom seeds already. Oh, snap. Check it out. We've got loads of them, actually. Damn, man. That's crazy. All right. Well, uh, let's just go ahead and head over to a biome. And the one I'm thinking of transforming is the one over here. I honestly feel like this could do with being mushroomified. Or maybe this flat area here between the two molehills right here. I feel like these molehills could be transformed into a base of some description. Hmm. But anyways, guys, that kind of brings me on to something I've been doing since the last episode in that uh, I've made this world a lot more horse friendly. That is right, my friends. I've gone ahead and I've flattened out and smoothed out a whole bunch more land. As you can see, I could just easily and aimlessly just roam through here without a care in the world going 61 miles an hour, which is like nearly the UK speed limit, which is great. I mean, check it out, man. Just look at it. 
This is like my favourite way to get around worlds apart from teleporting. It's just so cool. I could just run straight through everybody, man. It's amazing. Alright, well, uh, yep, here we go. And this is pretty much how far I got in terms of smoothing out the land uh, up to the Corruption Bime. And of course, our triple enchanted shrines. So, yeah. Now, we have the task of placing down some mud. Because I, I, I completely forgot about mud. I'm an idiot. Alright, let's get some mud and let's get this thing going, my friends. Alright guys, so I'm just in the process of putting in the last few blocks surrounding the little floating island here with mud. So now the time has come my friends, the time has officially come to get ourselves a bunch of mushroom grass seeds planted. Ooh, so here's what you're gonna do, you're gonna drop me a Nimbus rod, right? Yeah? Nimbus rod? Yes! Oh baby, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh man, it's not like I've been after this for a hell of a long time, dudes. Jeez. Oh, I'm so happy that we finally got it there, my friends. We finally got ourselves a Nimbus Rod, and that is gonna mean we can uh, we can do a lot more damage towards different enemies. So, yeah. I'm super, super happy about grabbing that for sure. But anyways, we are gonna go ahead and start out by smoothing out the land just a wee bit, so it's to its former glory. Alright, and then we got the other staircase over to the other side over here real quick. Alright, let's get that all smoothed out. There we go. Gotta love a smooth piece of terrain, buddies. Alright, so yeah, this is probably going to be the biggest mushroom biome I've ever created at the surface. And uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully it's going to be worth it. If not to get the truffle NPC in, then uh, maybe to farm out some of the mushroom enemies and get banners and such. I don't know. But uh, anyways, the time has come to get some mushroom grass seeds planted. Let's do it. And I'm basically just going to scatter them around. And by scattering them around, they should grow a lot quicker. Or grow and spread a lot quicker, shall I say. So I'm just going to go ahead and just walk a bit quick here. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Just keep it going. All the way up the stairs right here. Yeah. And that's another stack gone. Okay, let's keep ourselves going. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever done a mushroom floating island before, man. So this is certainly going to be different. There we go. Oh, mate, this is so cool. This is so, so cool. Alright, so all we need to do now, once we've done this, is make a truffle NPC house. And hopefully he'll have no reason not to spawn in, right? So here we go. Just finishing off the final bit. Uh, maybe one there and then one over here real quick and there we have it That should just about be it in terms of this here biome Yeah, so here's the question. Can you get? Can you get truffle worms at the surface if so that is absolutely amazing This is like the best, you know farming opportunity in the world if not then that's gonna kind of suck And I'm gonna be a little bit mad. Oh, oh hey get out of here you blooming bug Ah, oh, these bugs are annoying, dude. Alright, so, yeah. I mean, at the very least, we're gonna get ourselves a heck ton of mushrooms. There's already some large mushroom trees growing. As you can see, there's uh, one down there. And there should be more growing on top real soon, hopefully. Alright, so, I think in the meantime, what we're gonna go and do is we are going to create a house for the truffle NPC. So, let me go grab some materials. I'll be back. Alright, guys. Let's give this a quick test. I've literally been away for one minute okay one minute and we're gonna go and see just what kind of haul we can get from taking down all of these here mushrooms so let's go ahead head down here real quick maybe i should go ahead and uh, auto yeah there we go put the old auto mine on real quick there we go all right hey buddy you're gonna get killed i ain't about to get killed by you son that's just gonna be embarrassing man i ain't about to do that all right and you can get killed mr zomble uh, this tree could be killed. There we go. And I don't think there's a great deal of stuff on this island, but we'll go ahead and mine it anyway. There we go. I need to smooth out this island as well, actually, don't I? Alright, so from one minute of waiting and preparing stuff, I've got myself 110 glowing mushrooms. 111. Wow, man. That's crazy, dude. I love that. That is a that is a good rate of gaining blue mushrooms, man. That's seriously, seriously epic. Nice one. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and start constructing a, a house for the truffle NPC, my friends. Well, I think the time has come to get this thing on the way. So I'm thinking we go ahead and use... I'm thinking we use obsidian bricks. Okay, you'll have to bear with me on this. We're going to use obsidian bricks. Okay, we're going to use these little things right here. Okay. Oh, this guy's gonna come over. Yep, yeah, here he is. Oh, mate, this is gonna be crazy. It's just gonna be blooming mushroom enemy central right here. Uh, no, no, Mr. Ladybug, go away, please. I don't want you here. 
Thank you. All right. Let's get uh, let's get some of this going. All right, I'm gonna make that one block further out. Uh, we're gonna have the basin be. For, oh god, this is gonna be really annoying, isn't it? <laughs> All right, let's keep going. We can do this. We can do this, man. We can do this and survive. There's no reason not to. All right, and maybe we start the roof right there. Okay, and we'll have that going like this. In fact, there we go. So let's go ahead and get rid of that right there. Looking good. All right, no one can get in right now, which is fantastic. That's always good news. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're just getting the roof done real quick. And then we should be good to go. Okay, I can't actually see what's going on because my titanium armor, like, non-guys are in the dang way. <laughs> really? Can you, like, not? I'm trying to build and stuff. That'd be super appreciated, man. Okay, one, two, three. All right, I'm hoping that this is going to be good enough for the truffle NPC. All right, so let's get this uh, roof smoothed out. Here we go. Let's do the same right here. Let's get this guy out of the game. There we go. All right, and let's get a little doorway. Sweet. Okay, and let's do the same over here. Doorway. And, yeah, we can make ourselves some, uh, some granite furniture. That's right, this guy... Is going to be absolutely pimped, man. He's going to be absolutely pimped out. It's going to be amazing. Hey, you get out of it. Oh, my Lord. What is up with these guys? They're just everywhere, dude. All right. Quickly, quickly. Uh, doors. Yeah, door. Door. There we go. Sweet. <laughs> They're just going to come in anyway, aren't they? Ah, <laughs> uh, let me guess. The Goblin Tinkerer is about to... Yep, he's moved into... Ah, oh, dang, man. <laughs> I've kind of forgot to consider the fact there's still a lot of NPCs yet to spawn into this world, and as a result, I uh, I kind of messed up. I need more NPC houses, and for all of the other NPCs to spawn in before I before I have the truffle spawn in. Ah, dang it, man! Dude, that sucks. Well, I guess we're gonna have to work on some other houses if we want the truffle to spawn in, man. We don't have a great deal of choice, unfortunately, which uh, kind of sucks again. Ah, no choice. No choice in the matter. Dang it. Right, well, okay. I guess I could, I could start working a bit more on the desert base, perhaps? I don't see a reason why we shouldn't go ahead and do that. So, I'm thinking once again, we get a bunch of materials together, we bring it over to the desert base, and we start working on a bunch more NPC rooms. So, let's get these red bricks out. Let's get some uh, stone walls, mud stone walls, stone... Uh, that's dirt. I want mud. Yeah, there we go. Mud for mudstone. Mudstone brick. And, of course... Actually, I think that's just about it. We'll move some sand over, obviously, so that could be hallowified. Uh, what else do I need? Pearlstone. Don't need that. Yeah, I think we're just about good. Alright. Oh, and the clay, obviously. Duh. <laughs> like, the most important thing we actually need is actually clay. Alright, cool. Right. Let's head over there, and let's get some, uh, let's get some more bases built. Aha! The wizard has arrived! Huh. Okay, so one thing I genuinely didn't know is that these tall gates still enable you to have NPCs inside of your house. I was kind of thinking that maybe they missed out a line of code somewhere that would make these not count as a proper house, but apparently they do. So, uh, good job, Relogic. Good job. I will give you that, my friend. Alright, so let's go make myself another chair because that is driving my OCD insane. There needs to be another chair. On the other side. I mean, there, there just simply has to be. There really does. Alright, so... Yeah, okay, so the wizard's going to be in there. Housing is suitable. Housing is suitable. So I am wanting... Wait, who's currently living in the truffle NPC house? The goblin tinkerer? Alright, buddy. So you are going to relocate in here. And if I run away, he should spawn in there, right? Yeah, there he is. Cool. Okay. So we can now have two more NPC spawns, right? I think. I don't know. There's no one else in there at the moment. I'm just trying to trying to have a bit of a look see around. He's in that house. He's in that house. He's in that house. He's in that house. She's in there. Oh, oh get out of here! What the hell, man? You blooming joker! Oh, oh god, land shark! I don't want to be getting on the wrong side of that blooming land shark. These guys are jerk bags. They do drop kind of cool looking fins though. It has to be said. Hey, oh, right, hang on. Hey, hey, there you go. There you go, and I, I'm not about to be killed by you, Sonny. Alright, angry tumbler. I think those guys are hilarious, by the way. Alright, so in three seconds, there will be no more NPC spawns until the next day. And bada bing, bada boom, there we go. 
Nighttime has fallen. Okay, so... Yeah, man, I think at the very least what I would like to try and do is I would like to try and make the middle section, perhaps, of this uh, of this here massive base. So I need to go ahead and uh, continue on with that. I've got a whole bunch of stuff. In fact, I tell you what, I need to make myself a chest real quick and just chuck down a bunch of the old, uh, you know, generic crap that we just don't need. So if I just open it that way, I'm going to put that right there and blocks and stuff that I don't need will go in here temporarily. There we go. Oh, these banners, they were intending to go near the Truffle NPC place, so let me go ahead and place them down real quick because these are, these banners are proven to be pretty dang useful, it has to be said. Okay, let's just head over there and place them down. I'm, I'm thinking underneath where the NPC house actually is, you know what I'm saying? I think that'd be a pretty cool idea. Alright, shouldn't take long to get there now. We're just like, just roaming our way through here. I love this so much, man, it's so amazing. And there we go. Alright, so let's just go ahead and place these banners down real quick. Now one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, and a six. There we go, just to decorate the place up a little bit. Hey, oh, hello. You're gonna give me an even better Nimbus rod, right? Yeah? No. Dang it. <laughs> We're not that lucky today, my friends. <laughs> Alright, well, let's keep going with our build, huh? Throwing a party, huh? Looks like Simon is throwing a party. Who's Simon? That's Tagird. Who's Simon? I need to find Simon. He's, uh, he's throwing parties without my consent and better still without even letting me know that there is a party, dude. What's up with that? Oh, Simon the Angler? Ah, a little kid. I guess I could let him off. I mean, he's got to learn in future to, you know, invite me to parties and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, <laughs> anyways, everything is good. As you can see, I made a little bit of progress with regards to the to the infrastructure of this build. I now have the connecting bridge sort of you know, the actual bridge itself actually done. And in these spaces here, we're actually going to go and put some chests so we can put some generic stuff in them. Alright guys, so check it out. Look at the progress I've made since the last cut. I've been in the process of adding in a roof for the central section. And as you can see, I feel like I've got something going here. I feel like there's a nice amount of height to it as well, which I'm really, really happy about. I was going to go for a simple hot style sort of flat roof, but I'm really glad that I didn't. I'm really glad I made the effort to go ahead and make it into a proper pointed roof and uh, continuing the theme right here in that this building is very sand swept there's a bunch of sand and hardened sand on top of the roof and eventually that should wind up being hallowified so everything is awesome oh yeah man i'm so happy with the progress we've made today my friends i really really am but I really do feel like there's a little bit more I can give in this episode before I call it. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I just feel like I can get some more stuff done. I really, really do. Starting off with smoothing the inside of the roof, the ceiling, if you will. So let's get on with that. And perhaps we'll work on the infrastructure of the right-hand side a little bit. I don't know. It, it kind of uh, relies on the amount of, well, the progress relies on the amount of uh, materials we have. So that's always something to bear in mind. So anyways, guys, let's go and make some more progress and I'll be back for the pro final progress update very shortly. Alrighty guys, so I've had a change of heart and what we're actually going to go ahead and do is we are going to buy the auto hammer and do a little bit of mushroom farming just so we can get our shroomite stuff underway. I do believe we have seven or so chlorified bars already which yeah, isn't, isn't really a great deal let's be honest but uh, it is definitely better than nothing which I'm super happy about. Alright so uh, let's just do that real quick and uh, let's harvest these mushrooms up here. So this time we've waited around half an hour and well to be honest it, I would imagine it only takes like 10 or so minutes for this to fully grow so yeah as you can see, getting a heck ton of mushrooms, which is amazing. Can you, like, die, please, Mr. Fungi Bulb? There you go. I can't wait to get a Fungi Bulb banner so I can place it down and I won't, like, die a lot anymore. You know what I'm saying? All right, looking good. And let's chop down all the little trees right here. All right. Oh, man. We're going to get so many mushrooms from all this. Look at it. Look at it. 84. That's not even a scratch on the amount we actually have, I imagine. So I'm super happy about this. Oh, I'm so glad that these things just naturally spawn out of nowhere. It is really cool. Hey, can you like go? Thanks and stuff. All right. We've got a little zombie dude down here. And it looks like the trees have indeed been growing on the floating island as well. Oh, mate, this is so cool, though. 386, 404. Not found. Ha! <laughs> 404 not found get it no it's a, it's a it's a geek reference it's a it's a computer internet reference stuff i don't know you, most of you guys know what i'm on about what was that 
There's a little floating mushroom thing. Was that the was that the truffles attack? Are you for real right now? Did he really just die on me? You're actually serious. This blooming werewolf. Yep. Well, I've just learned my lesson. Make the most of the NPCs while they last. Dang it, man! I'm super. I'm, I'm, I'm heartbroken about that. God damn it. Alright, well, we've got 636 of the buggers right now, which is kind of cool. And now I guess we're waiting for the dude to spawn back in. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and do that in the next episode, I think. But, anyways, guys, for now, we are going to end this particular episode here. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this episode and you are excited for more to come, do be sure to leave a like right now. It'll be much appreciated, my friends. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. If, of course, you have any suggestions or feedback regarding this, uh, regarding this here desert build, then let me know. But aside from that, thank you so much for watching my friends, your support as always has been much appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next one.